Hey, Michelle, are you ready? Let's rock and roll, Jimmy. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I'll just try something new. <laughs> She spent over 20 years as a successful realtor and realtor coach, recipient of over 40 sales, leadership, and literary awards. From the legendary Music Row in Nashville, this is The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore. Hello and welcome. We're so excited about today's topic and, of course, today's guest. We've got Tanya Escabel with Interlink Mortgage in the studio with us. Hi, Tanya. Hello. I'm excited you're here. Excited to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. It's great. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to be talking about two lending programs that help increase your sales. Like who doesn't, what real estate agent says, thanks, but no thanks. I've got plenty of sales. I don't know of any. <laughs> All right. So I know agents are like, ooh, I like it too. Okay. So what could they be? First and foremost, before we even get into what those two lending programs are, I mm-hmm. want you to first share. I know that Interlink Mortgage is a direct endorsed lender. I would like for you to share just in case we have some agents that don't know what a direct endorsed lender is. Could you please share what that is? So an Interlink Mortgage, like you said, is a direct endorsed lender. And basically what that means is, is we can service directly to Fannie Mae. Freddie Mac, FHA, and VA. So, and then what that means is we don't have all of those extra rules that maybe some of the other lending institutions or banks have. So when you're a direct endorsed lender, you start off of their base guidelines. If it meets Fannie, if it meets Freddie, FHA, and VA, then we're not going to come in and say, well, we want to require a higher credit score or we're going to require two years tax returns when Fannie Mae only says we need one year for this particular client. That's good. The script I like to use when I'm speaking with buyers is, do you have a mortgage lender that you're already working with? And when they say no, I say, great, no worries. I have one that I'd love to refer to you. And you may have a couple, but but what I say is the one that I recommend or the ones that I have are all direct endorsed lenders. Tanya Escabel, the mortgage queen, is one of the best ones, I think, in our area, especially of the country. But I say to them, one of the part of the script is that I share with them is I try to make sure that it's very understandable is at the end of the day, what's great about her being a direct endorsed lender is because what happens is it's hard enough to get a mortgage loan, as we all know, right? And they're shaking their head yes. And I say, well, she makes it as easy as possible. That's what direct endorsed lenders do, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't get easier. Mm-hmm. So and we're going to talk about two loans that are going to help realtors increase their sales. And some of that includes some of the, the, the programs, the details of those programs are some of the ways you're making it easy. Yes, and, right? the, and are tied directly to being a direct endorsed lender to be able to offer those options. Exactly, exactly. All right, so I just wanted to get that out of the way because we want to make sure that real estate agents, we have a lot of new agents in the industry, and we want to make sure that they know what a direct endorsed lender is before we even get started. So in the house, we've got... Tanya Escabel, the mortgage queen <laughs> with Interlink Mortgage Company. She's going to be sharing two lending programs that help increase your sales. So, Tanya, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, girl. You're I'm like, ready. I'm born ready. What are you talking about, Michelle? <laughs> All right, so two lending programs that help increase your sales. What's number one? Condos, condominiums. The example that I use for agents to really understand is this is for either if you're representing a client as a seller and you're trying to get a listing, There's some due diligence that you want to do to make sure that you note that that property is going to meet Fannie Freddie guidelines, or if it's not, then they need to know that in the MLS so you don't have a pre-approved buyer come in that's FHA approved, but the complex isn't FHA approved. Absolutely. So you're going to want to do some due diligence there on the front end. And then on the buyer side, you're going to want to make sure that you do your due diligence for the buyer. And if that buyer is pre-approved as a Fannie or Freddie or, say, an FHA or VA loan, you're going to want to put that in there as a contingency that that association does meet those requirements, okay? So that way um, you're protecting them. So there's a lot of things that we do education around um, giving you tips of how to protect your seller with a condo listing and also how to protect your buyer with a condo listing. Those are just two real quick just to give some advice to, but we do offer this training um, usually on a monthly, sometimes a bi-monthly session just because so many people are wanting to learn this. The one thing that I can, that I usually open up the class with when I'm talking to agents is how many agents or how many people do you know that would say, if I said, if I'm going to buy this condo as an owner-occupied resident, what would be the limit of the investor percentage? Uh, 60 or 70 percent. And that's exactly what most people think. But if yes. I'm buying this as an owner-occupied, Interlink Mortgage does not care what investor percentage is there. So one of the examples that we just did for a buyer that we were able to close, they were basically, the MLS said, um, MLS, I think I said NMLS, my, my license number, <laughs> MLS, um, basically said that that complex did not meet 
normal agency guidelines. And I said, well, let's do a questionnaire. Let's just make sure because we see this happen all the time. And this was an owner-occupied buyer that was purchasing in that complex. We were able to get the loan done with as little as 5% down for him. And That's so right. a lot of times it's not that that agent that probably put that listing in there was just going off of maybe what her bank had said. Mm -hmm. And so that's, again, where so many people get confused with different credit scores or especially when you go into condos because those condo requirements are really lender specific. And if you're a direct endorsed lender with Fannie and Freddie, that's all we look at. We have no extra overlays. That's so good. And so that goes back to direct endorsed lending and how they can help you get deals done that others might not be able to do. Mm -hmm. So talking about two lending programs that help increase your sales with Tanya Escabel, the mortgage queen with Interlink Mortgage, what's number two? If you've been in the business for a while, yeah. um, it's a different name. But, okay. you know, as time goes by, you got to rename it, right? you got to repackage. So, yeah, we got to re good. repackage it. So I call it our new step program. But if you've been in the business for more than 10 years, because it's been about 10 years since we had it, it's the good old 2-1 buy-down. Yeah, so, <laughs> the step program. Yeah, so it's it's the step <laughs> stepping you into home ownership is what I call it. I so love it. How okay. to step you into home ownership. But it is the traditional 2-1 buy-down. So a lot of our competitors do not have that program yet. And that, again, because we're a direct endorsed lender. I went to the president of our company and I said, we need to have some options because in a rising interest rate market, this is able. And we also don't have a lot of affordability in some of our markets. So this is going to be able to help them be able to ease into that higher price point that they want. They still qualify on that final 30-year note rate, but it gives them the benefit of saving money. So if you want me to give you an example, yes, if I'm looking at a $285,000 loan amount, and keep this in mind, this is Principal and interest. So this doesn't include taxes, insurance, or HOA. Sure. But my 30-year payment on that for principal and interest is around fifteen fifty-two a month. So with the STEP program, what that does is that helps me get them down to their first year of 3.125% interest rate, depending on credit scores. But for this example, and that first year is twelve twenty-eight a month. It's over $300 difference, like $330 a month difference. So the second year, it goes to 4125 and that eases them up to thirteen eighty one, okay. and so it's not an arm. It just basically takes it takes the rate and buys it down two percent the first year and buys it down one percent the second year. And there's no prepayment penalty, and they just keep that thirty year rate. So that particular example, two hundred eighty five thousand dollars, saves a client over six thousand dollars in payments for the first two years. Well, that is fantastic. I love it. And of course, I think it, you know after hearing this, I'm sure that every agent is saying, "Okay, now I know why Michelle refers to Tanya as mm -hmm. the mortgage queen." Thank I love you. it. Yes. <laughs> I know you've got some stories that with the condo, like you were sharing earlier, where I think there's a lesson to be learned in the fact that even MLS, the listing agent had said, hey, this won't qualify for this or this. If something doesn't look good for your clients, I certainly give Tanya a call and see what she can do. So, you know, this is this is one of those things where just because one agent is working with a lender that may or may not be able to make things happen that Tanya can make happen, that's part of it. That's what you're known for is making deals happen that uh, have mm -hmm. been turned down mm -hmm. previously, right? Yeah, and that is because I do respect business relationships and loyal relationships. And so a lot of the things that we do when we talk about is to educate maybe and give you another outlet as a secondary choice for yes, lending. Yes, yes, that's so good. And that's so important. And so I've heard you a lot of times say, look, if you already have a lender, that's fine. But, you know, and I respect that. But at least give us a chance. Let us, when when that lender can't do something, you know, let us be your, it. yeah, let us take a look at it. Let us be your, you know, your backup. And mm -hmm. so keep Tanya's number. What's your number? How can it's people 615 reach It's 615-308-9859. That's 615 308 Nine eight five nine, and that's my personal cell. So you can call or text me. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time right here on the Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore. Realtors, if you're ready for the latest tools, scripts, and techniques, visit realestatecoachingsimplified.com. We'll see you next time on the Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore.